You know, there's a few things that really just kind of get under my skin. And one of the things uh, that really irritates the crap out of me is uh, why does it cost so much more money to have a set of tires that you bought online mounted and balanced at, uh, at a local tire shop so I mean I realize that uh, that a lot of their profit margin is actually in the tire uh, and stuff like that and I don't necessarily want to take any food out of anybody's mouth but last week I called uh, uh, a local shop down here and they wanted 200 bucks to uh, mount four tires and balance them on my truck and I just was like nope not doing that so a um, couple of, I, don't know, I guess about a year ago, year and a half ago, I bought uh, one of those Harbor Freight $40 tire changer things. And it actually works pretty darn good. Uh, I was a little apprehensive to start uh, to do this particular set because uh, it's an 18 inch wheel uh, and it's um, uh, the new tire is a 10 ply, like uh, load range E tire. So I was like, eh, I'm not real sure that's going to work. Uh, with uh, a little $40 Harbor Freight deal, but uh, uh, anyways, um, we're gonna get into it uh, today. Uh, so yeah, this, like I said, this is going on my on my pickup truck. So I went with a uh, uh, a Mickey Thompson uh, Deegan 38 All Terrain, uh, which is a pretty darn cool uh, tire. So um, I've already got two of them done, so I know that the machine can do it. Uh, so it's a little bit of a struggle. Uh, thankfully the wheels that I have on on the truck need to be uh, refurbished so uh, I can get a little bit aggressive with uh, the tools with, without worrying about destroying the wheels they are an aluminum wheel so you kind of have to be careful so but yeah uh, I'll take you along for the ride and yeah it's like 20 degrees outside right now so really would like to have my bigger shop going tire machine here in the shed we'll get you guys set up so you can kind of see what's going on but anyways there there's the eight like i said it's an 18 inch uh, wheel um and the uh and that harbor freight uh 40 dollar 40 maybe 50 bucks i can't remember um tire changer uh tell you the the struggles and the reality it is uh, uh using this thing Once you break it good enough, you can push it down. Breaking the bead is arguably one of the most difficult parts.
Pull on that one. We uh, might end up having to make some more tools for this thing. Probably end up having more money wrapped up in the material just to build some tools for this than to buy another one. Alright. So you can see I've got some like rubber pads and stuff down. Old tire there, a couple old pieces of tire. This is all just out of, it's the face out of a old slick. Right. Yep, tire spoons, these come from Harbor Freight as well. So pretty inexpensive deal. Now I have used this machine on my high dollar uh, drag wheels and it's done pretty good. I haven't attempted to do a 17 inch front runner. I just, I'm not sure I can be delicate enough with those. Uh, but the 15 by 10s that I have in the back, uh, they work pretty good. Uh, I got these little uh, spoon sleeves that uh, they work okay. You can see um, right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's split from, you know, literally piercing the, uh, the end of the spoon through it uh, in some cases. But uh, it does pretty good for, for what you, uh, doing, the, doing the drag wheels. So you don't mess them all up or whatever so um so yeah now these like i said they they are a bit of a bugger bear but they i can it, it'll work so get this up and up Sure this don't spin this had like a pin in it from the factory when it was new out of the box and that pin is gone i've got a couple of old sets of wrenches that i don't use for anything else and uh this 3 8 craftsman seems to fit in there pretty good now i keep things from spinning so and So I ran in the house and I grabbed the tire. Uh, like I said, these are Mickey Thompson Deegan 38s. You can really use just about anything to lubricate this. I, I guess the best bet that would be to use some kind of like real tire lube. Um, I've used Dawn. Uh, seems to work pretty good. Um, this stuff. Let me go get some Dawn. I think it works better. All right, shh, grab this off the sink. So I'm just gonna put some in my hand, rub it around the the, in, the bead here, uh, and hopefully that will make going on that a whole lot easier. Because now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that a lot of my struggles had to do with lack of proper lubrication on that. Uh, so we'll see if I'm right. <laughs> Still gonna take some persuasion, but it does seem significantly better.
I could get another thing of dawn for the wife. Oops. out here to seat this bead so we're going to do that in the main garage got a little trick for all you home gamers like me uh, need to do a fast fill on a tire to seat a bead uh, so you can see I've got an air hose here with the quick release coupler but no air chuck so it's just a one-way valve okay and you got to push on that for air to come out so, well, a valve stem is about the perfect size. So if you take your, your valve stem core out and you put the chuck directly on the valve stem, uh, it'll open that and then you can get a blast of air into the tire and it'll help seat the bead. Oh, one bead. number three of four so I'll get this back on and I'll do my last one and then you probably noticed I didn't balance them um, I do have a Harbor Freight bubble balance but I don't have any of the weights and I don't know if you're ever priced about they're kind of pricey so and honestly I'm probably gonna try to get away without balancing them uh, at all but they're probably gonna rattle my teeth out uh, and if that's the case then I'll have them balanced professionally. So I'm not gonna spend uh, the money on a set of weights right now. I don't see a whole lot of benefit to that. I don't balance the slicks uh, on the race car. So uh, I know some people say you should, but I've seen them enough times where the, the slick, the, the weights will get pitched off either in the burnout or uh, on the big end. And so yeah, well, I just don't do it. <laughs> torque wrench on it before I uh, before I actually drive this thing so I uh, just I don't feel like these really have any idea what kind of torque they're putting out so uh, yeah so that's that's that uh, so I'll uh, try and have some updates on uh, the race car uh, or some of the other projects I got going on in uh, some future video but uh, anyways yeah thought you might like to see that so uh, and I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys later thanks <laughs>